to our channel. My name's Phoebe. I'm Carmen. And I'm Cassie. And today we'll be doing a video on a bag that Carmen recently purchased off eBay. So we did release a video recently about how to purchase bags off eBay and online. So if you're interested, we'll leave a link for that video down below. But today we'll be talking about Carmen's recent purchase, which is the Saint Laurent <laughs> wallet and chain. I believe there's multiple names depending on where you purchase it from yep. for mm. this clutch. So some people call it, is it the envelope clutch? Um, the monogram, lock, the monogram, monogram chain wallet. Yeah. yeah. So a few different names, but we'll link the exact one just down below as well. Today we'll be going through just the wear and tear of the bag, how the bag sits on us. So we'll do a couple of modeling shots so you guys can see and also what the bag fits. And we'll go through just any other details that we think would be helpful to you guys. So if you're mm. interested, keep on watching. This bag currently retails for, what did you purchase yours for? Well, I bought mine on eBay and oh, I got true. it for a pretty yeah. good deal. I paid around 1,300 Australian dollars for it. But on the website? at the moment mm. it retails for, I think just under 1,900. So it's gone up quite a bit since you bought it. I bought right. mine for like 1300 or $1,200. Yeah. Yeah. And how many years ago was that? Oh, that was, it was like over five years, five? I think. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so they do do increases pretty often. But yeah, I think my purchase was a pretty good deal. And the good thing with St. Laurent, <laughs> yeah. we don't recommend purchasing it off the website. Like you yeah. get off Farfetch and like mm -hmm. Theresa and all that and you get discount codes mm -hmm. and you don't need to pay full price for it. Exactly. And even if you get like a 10% discount it's code, helps. it's already a couple of hundred dollars. So definitely mm -hmm. worth it. So this bag comes in uh, two different sizes. So yeah. this is the smaller size, which is like the box size. I actually wanted the larger size, yeah. which is like a medium. Is it the medium or? No, I think I think that one is called an envelope clutch. It's a slightly more rounded version as opposed to the corners. But it looks and the same. Yeah, it, it pretty much looks Similar. the same. And the chain is slightly oh, yeah. different yeah. on that one though. So the bigger one has a just Full chain. These ones here, they have a little leather bit at the top of the strap, so slightly different. Your colour is called the fard, Mine's called isn't fard. it? Yeah. yeah. And yours is a pretty colour. And this is in powder, so more of like a beige nude colour. I guess the thing with Saint Laurent is mm -hmm. there's a lot of different colours and they're all yeah. seasonal. Mm -hmm. So if there's a colour that you like, you should just buy it. Go for it. Yeah. 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 I know this particular colour gets released quite often though. I think I haven't seen mine. Oh your I colour has been yeah. yeah ever since you bought it they no, released it's it. so nice mm -hmm. though. Mm -hmm. But they have like all different types of colours. I love like, all their neutral yeah. colours. They always yeah. just do yeah. such a good job with it. Yeah. And they always do slightly different shades of beige as well. Like so Phoebe had a Saint Laurent bag as well the in beige. Bag. It's also called powder. It's called powder, powder as well. But I'm is it the pretty same? sure it's the same okay. colour. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, that they've recently also released. I think it might be called the Uptown Clutch with the chain. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I know that one. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. it kind of looks like yeah. this, but without the chevron patterns. Mm, yeah. Very similar. Oh yeah. Mm. yeah. I guess with this bag as well, they come in a few different hardwares, like color hardwares. Like yours yep. is the gold, mine's the silver. Comes yep. in like a black as well. Like they're so black. Yep. Uh, Chanel. There's like, I've seen like a whole black. One. I love the whole black, black one. It's yeah. So yeah. Nice. It's very like baby. <laughs> you should get one. <laughs> so this bag has a couple of compartments when you open it. Basically when you open it, there's just a little button clasp, That's like a snap closure. And it's got six card slots and one big kind of compartment at the back of the bag and also a little zippered compartment at the front there. Chains are detached, super convenient. So you can definitely just detach the chain and use it as like a clutch and um, hold it like that. Or like even if you don't want to detach the chain, there's still plenty of room and you can just leave tuck the chain in. in there. Yeah, and tuck it in and use it like that. Um, if you get tired, you don't want to hold it anymore. The chain out. The and thing wear with the chain. Is <laughs> I personally think it's a, it's bit, a bit long. long. It's a little bit long. Yeah. But yeah. I fold mine up twice. Yeah. So like you have that. to do tuck, um, which we'll show you how to do yeah. it. I always um, wear mine like yeah. that. I find it sits well. I definitely have yeah. to do a tuck, which is kind of why I wanted to buy the bigger version because the chain is a lot shorter on that, which I prefer. But I mean, I couldn't really pass this up. <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> it was such a good price, and it's such a 
beautiful colour. So in terms of wear and tear of the bag, there is a big bit of hardware at the front of the bag. Cassie's bag is about five years old and it's kind of unavoidable, I think, if you do use yeah. the bag to get little, little hairline scratches on the hardware. But you can't tell um, unless you... It's yeah, really hard to tell unless you kind of like really look into it. Yeah, you yeah. at like yours. certain angles yeah. as well, yeah. depending on the line. Other thing with this bag, just because of the shape that it is, like mm. the square corners peel a little bit. So I think Cassie's one... It's kind not of too bad. Like very, very, very minimal peeling. Yeah. I bought mine. I'm quite pedantic about <laughs> the stuff that comes in when it's pre loved. Checked every corner, and there is a tiny, tiny peel on that corner there, but it really isn't obvious. And you have to really look at it close up to even notice it. So I feel like other than that, the bag really does hold up well. Like the type of leather mm -hmm. it is. It's um, so durable. Yeah, it's yeah. Really, really durable. I think the strap as well, it's, it's still really same. held up. Yeah. Made up with the no same peeling. leather. No, no creasing as well. Yeah, and it yeah. doesn't crease, yeah. which is a really, really yeah. good thing. So now we'll go through what the bag fits and how it fits. anything out or you have any further questions about the bag but we'll see you guys in our next video